Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how to compute relative frequencies and cumulative relative frequencies. And to compute both of these, the first thing we need to do is uh, determine the total number of uh, values in my frequency table. So in this case, I need the total number of days counted for uh, in this data. So in this case, the total number of days would be 12 plus 7 or plus 10 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1 so the total number of days here uh, is 31 so this is one of our months with 31 days but we need to make sure we know uh, the total so to compute a relative frequency uh, the number of days with uh, between 0 and 9 tenths of an inch of rain was 12 so we would take 12 divided by the total of 31 days and that gives me a relative frequency of about uh, 0.387. We can either give it as a fraction, we could say 12 over 31, or we could uh, give it as a decimal, uh, 0.387. So then uh, if we had 10 days between 1 and 1 and 9 tenths inch of rain, the relative frequency would be 10 out of 31, or 0.323. And then for the 2 to 2 and 9 tenths inch category, we had 7 days, so the relative frequency would be 7 divided by 31, which is 0.226 approximately. And then the 3 to 3 and 9 tenths category, there was only 1 day out of 31, so that's a relative frequency of 0.032. And then same for the 4 to 4 and 9 tenths inch category, uh, 1 out of 31 is 0 0.032. So these values are called relative frequencies. We take the frequency divided by uh, the total number of days accounted for. The cumulative relative frequency uh, is, are the relative frequencies uh, accumulated? So for the 0 to 9 tenths of an inch category, our cumulative relative frequency is 0.387 which means that you know roughly 39 percent of the days in the month had less less than or equal to nine tenths of an inch of precipitation the cumulative relative frequency for the next category would be the the cumulative rel it would be the relative frequency for the previous category plus this category so that would be 22 out of 31 which is approximately, and you could either do 22 divided by 31, or you could just sum uh, the, the relative frequency plus the previous relative frequency. And in any case, we get about 0 0.710. And what this means is 71% of the days had 1 and 9 tenths inch of precipitation or less. So the next cumulative relative frequency, I just take the 71% and I add the next category or I take the 22 30 over 31 and I add 7 over 31 so the cumulative frequency is 29 out of 31 or uh, 0.936 and again this indicates that 94 percent of the days of the month had 2.9 inches of rain or less and then if I add uh, my one day of between 3 and 3 9 tenths three and nine tenths inches of rain that would give me a cumulative relative frequency of 30 over 31 which is approximately 0.968 and then if I add that again the cumulative relative frequency uh, for the four to four or nine tenths category would be 31 out of 31 which is equal to one so if you do this correctly, you should always end with one. That indicates uh, we've accounted for all of the data. Uh, a relative frequency is just sort of the proportion of all of your data that fall into any one particular category. The cumulative relative frequency, we just accumulate those, meaning we, we add them up as we go. So if somebody wanted to know what, per, what proportion of the month had less than three inches of precipitation, uh, that would just be this number right here, about almost 94 percent okay but if we wanted to know uh, what percentage of the month had between 2 and 2.9 inches of precipitation we would use the relative frequency 
which would be about 23%. So you can see advantages to both of these depending on uh, what kind of question we're trying to answer. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks.